All right, welcome to Write On with John Crane. And if I could fit any more pens and pencils into this pocket, I would. All right, today I'm going to cover one of the most popular tools of all time. And almost everyone uses this tool here. It's a pair of scissors. And specifically today, I'm gonna to show you how to sharpen a pair of scissors. Now there's nothing worse than going into the drawer, grabbing some scissors, going to cut something, right? And you can't cut through it, they're dull as baloney, right? And uh, this is a tool that I reach for almost every day here in the shop. I got one in the drawer here, I got one in the tool bag. So let's get busy and I'll show you how to sharpen those scissors. Okay, the method that I'm gonna show you today for sharpening scissors pretty much works on a whole array of scissors, right? From Grandma Georgina's old shears here to your big box store type scissors there to your fabric cutting and hair cutting shears, right? This method will work for all these types of scissors. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is talk about the edge that we wanna sharpen. Now, if you look at this pair of scissors right here, right? We have this bevel right here, but then we also have a micro bevel there. See on the top here? So we got this bevel here, and then we got this bevel cut right here. And you see on a lot of pair of scissors, right? That this is cut by a machine, and you can see the grinding marks in that edge right there, right? And this is usually a 10 degree angle right there. So what I've done is I've made a little blow up of this. This is a profile view there, right? And so here is the inside of our one side of the pair of scissors there. Here's our bevel. And then here's our micro bevel at 10 degrees. Now what we wanna do is we wanna come in with a file or a diamond stone. I'm gonna show you a few different ways to do this. And we wanna stroke the file along this 10 degree bevel, right? Now that's gonna sharpen our scissors. But first, before we do that, this inside edge, we wanna make sure that this is nice and flat, right? So if we look on these here, right? First thing we wanna do is make sure that this is nice and flat. Now, some pairs of scissors, right? This is perfectly flat. And then some scissors have what is called a hollow grind. It's a hollow grind on it, right? So if we look at the inside of the pair of scissors, right? If this is a straight plane, the hollow grind is this grind right here where this is a little bit concave right here, right? And so we got this tip and we got that tip. So in order to get that nice and flat, a nice way to do that is with a big flat stone. Now I don't feel like you have to do this step. This is just really fine tuning some scissors. You can just do the micro bevel with a file and be done. But if you really wanna get this nice and tuned up, You'll run the uh, pair of scissors on a stone like this. Okay, the first step here is to put this flat down onto the stone there, open up the scissors here, right? And just start running this back and forth on the stone there. And what that is doing is flattening that inside edge there of the scissors, right? And sometimes you gotta get creative here on how you get that edge nice and flat. All right, and if we look here, we can start to see, see this is a hollow ground pair of scissors here. It's starting to hit it here and here. And see, not so much right there. I gotta keep going right in that area. All right, so I'll just keep working this. Okay, just like that, that's about all you need to do there. You can see a nice edge right along there. And now I'll do this on the other side. As you can see there, that grind is looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna flip this stone over. Right, and I'm gonna do this now on the fine side of the stone. All 
Okay, do you see how I've got this edge here? This is actually great that there's a little bit of tarnish and rust on this because you can really see the highlights of this hollow ground here on this blade, right? So this is all nice and flat now and true. And now we're gonna turn and we're gonna do this micro bevel here. So now we're gonna go after this 10 degree bevel. Now we've flattened the back here. Now, don't get me wrong, you don't wanna take out the hollow grind. You just wanna polish the tip and the top here. But if you have a blade that is perfectly flat there, you can run that over the stone and just get that nice and flat. All right, so now the next step is to put this in the vise. Now you wanna hold the pair of scissors just like this and you wanna clamp, right? I'm just gonna clamp this right on this bottom edge here of the scissors. And right now you can come in with your file, right? And you wanna get that file right at the 10 degree mark there. Right, you wanna file off this whole edge there. And this is pretty easy to see because you can see the machine grinding marks in there. And you wanna get that whole edge nice and flat. Now, one thing to think about is you wanna have that flat with that edge. If you're here, if you're tilting your file back too much, right, you're just taking off this bottom corner. And if you're tilted up too much, you're taking off too much of the tip there. So you wanna make sure that you're getting this edge nice and sharp right there. Now, I'm not gonna do this with a file. I'm gonna do this with this diamond stone. This is made by DMT and you can get this on Amazon there. I don't know what this is, maybe 20 bucks or so, right? It's got the coarse, or sorry, the blue is the coarse and the red is the fine. And so I'm just gonna come in and you can kind of just see that angle there and just start. Right, you see how quickly that works. And you can kind of do a draw file action on that. Right, and you can see all those machining marks are starting to go away there. This is a very simple process. Now, if you want, if you just wanna tune up some scissors real quick, you just come in and tune this edge up real quick with the fine stone and you're ready to roll. And sometimes, you know, maybe even once a day or something, depending on what you're cutting, you can come in and you can tune up this edge. Very easy. Okay, now I'm coming in with the fine diamond here and I'm trying to give you the best view possible so you can really comprehend there how this is working, right? Okay, that's pretty good. Now, Grandma Georgina's old scissors there are super sharp and ready to roll. But I wanna take this one step further, right? So you can see here, they're a little bit loose, right? And this is the type here, it's got a screw and it's kind of got like a rounded rivet on this side. So. What I like to do in this situation, right? If you go in and you try to turn this screw, sometimes you can tighten it, but this one just spins and spins, right? So, see that rounded rivet head right there? What I would like to do is I like to take a block of wood and put this in the vise, right? Clamp this down and then take and place this and I like to have it just where the scissors are starting to cut. Not all back here. I like to keep them about that position right there because that is where you want them nice and tight. Then come in with your hammer, right? And start to work around 
the edge of this rivet here. You can come in with a flat shot and then start working your way around that rivet. But you want to take your time and you want to check the scissors. Ooh, see, just like that, that tightened those up really nice. And they're not so tight that you can't use them. That was just perfect. That's all you needed there was a couple shots and they feel good. And now, all right, they're just gonna cut like butter, all right? No problem. All right, the method and the steps that I just showed you there for sharpening these, that's uh, just to tune up the scissors and to get them into a good working order. And you only do that, you know, once a year, once every two years, that type of thing. And then it's just tuning them up with maintenance, right? Like a pair like this, maybe they're cutting okay, they just got a little bit dull, and you just want to tune them up real quick and you want to get back to work, right? Like a chef in the kitchen there, you just want to sharpen the knife real quick and get back to cutting the, uh, the broccoli, right? So now this pair of scissors, right? The angle is actually a little bit steeper here, right? And it is hard to just clamp it up in the vise just like this. So for these scissors here, what you can do is just clamp up on the handle, right? So clamp up on it just like that. And then you can reach the whole blade just like that. Now you can kind of hold it with your hand and stiffen it a little bit, right? And now you can come in and you can get the that steep angle and just tune up the scissors real quick. This only takes, you know, less than a minute here probably to do both sides of the scissors, right? Just like that, flip it over. And here we go. Do the other edge here. And these things are going to be cutting like butter here in no time. All right, pop those out. Chippy chop. Cutting great, really nice. I just want to show you here on some pairs of scissors, it has a screw and it has a recessed nut in the scissors. And these are really nice where you can just come in with a screwdriver and adjust the tension there, right? Maybe that's a hair too tight, right? You want these to work very nice. Just back that off a little bit and look at that, right? It feels great. So. Some scissors, uh, they'll give you a little tool with your scissors when you buy it, right, to tighten and loosen the screw. It's not always a slotted screw like this. Sometimes it's a little specialty screw and they give you a tool for it. All right, hopefully this helps and it's nice and clear there. And obviously, right, if you have scissors that you're just using for fabric, just use them for fabric. If you got scissors that you're just using for cutting hair, just cut hair with them and, uh, but that brings up a story. When I was uh, a kid, I don't know, eight, nine years old, right? Joe the Barber, men in New Jersey. This guy, I don't know, must have been 80 years old. I'm going to the barber shop. You know, my mother brings me to the barber shop. And this guy, right, he was one of those heavy whistlers, right? <whistles> right? And all the time, right, he would, uh, he'd be cutting your hair and he'd get this whistle, like this wallow going on. And he'd be snipping the scissors like this and he'd come in and then he'd take like 10 snips out here, right? And then come back in and cut a little hair. Right? And then what, so one day I'm in there, right? And the guy's doing this, all this theatrics, right? And he comes in and he snips my ear, right? And there's some blood like dripping off of my ear. And my mom's like, oh my God, what the, he cut his ear and the, you know, Joe the Barber's like, ah, oh, damn kid, the damn kid flinched. He flinched, I'm like, flinched, all right? You were doing all the theatrics here with the, you know, never mind all the uh, circus act there, just uh, cut my hair. But uh, anyway, there's an old story there about Joe the Barber. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're great and uh, get busy on those snowflakes there with your fresh, sharp scissors. All right, right on, I'll see you soon. 
All right, John Crane here in the shop, and I just want to give a big thank you to all the people who help support my channel by either uh, liking or subscribing or leaving a comment in the comment section there. That really goes a long ways to help out my channel. And if you'd like to support even more, I have a Patreon link that's in the description of this video here. And then also on my website, I have the Patreon link there on my website as well, but I also have the Right On store, and I'm starting to sell different products in the store there, such as this utility dop kit type bag. I got lots of different bags there. I got some John Crane Right On, John Crane stickers that I have in the store, and I'm starting to put up all kinds of different products there. And then also I have the tool list of all the tools in my bag, and that's a Amazon affiliate link. So if you click on anything that's in the tool list on my website, it brings you over to Amazon. And then if you buy it through that portal, I get a few cents for each purchase of uh, each tool you buy there. So it's not much, but it surely does help uh, support the channel here. And I just wanna say, I really appreciate uh, anybody who wants to support the channel there. All right, I hope you guys are great and I'll see you soon. Right on.